Hey y'all, I am participating in the Me Time collaboration. It was started by This Guy's Life channel and I was tagged by April over at The Simple Rugged Path. You need to check April out and Chris, her husband, I used to work with both of them and we worked together like, I don't know, 16 or 17 years ago, a long time. Um, but we have lost touch since then and then recently we kind of got back in touch on the internet. So it's really cool. Um, and I'm laughing and amused because trying to do this little video called me time and it's been interrupted like i don't know eighty two thousand times since i started doing emma sitting here laughing at me so we are going to attempt to get it this time it's like take two thousand but whatever that's okay that's what life's all about so let me preface this by saying a me time video is a little bit difficult for me because i don't have a lot of me time and i'm okay with that um you know i have a busy life busy mom but i will answer the questions as best as i can i think there's a helicopter Okay. All right. Okay. I came outside for quiet and now there's a helicopter or an airplane. It's an air. Oh, it's a little airplane. It's cute. It's so little. I'm sure it's bigger than it looks. It's like a private plane. What do you watch or read during me time? What do I watch or read during me time? Um, YouTube videos would be my go-to to watch. So if I have a few minutes, I can sit down and um, check out just my uh, subscription list, whatever, whoever's put out a new video, I can quick, real quick try to watch and catch up on what I haven't seen yet. And um, as far as reading goes, I would be reading a homesteading book, a gardening book, homeschooling book, a homemaking book, stuff like that. Um, yeah, I need organization and planning type help. So, you know, any kind of homeschool mom organizing uh, homemaking books are really, you know, high on my list. And, um, I also like, you know, like Grit and Mother Earth News magazines. I used to get them as a subscription. I don't anymore, but I've saved them all. So I have a whole stack of them. I can just go grab whichever one I want to read about, whatever I'm interested in at the moment. So, but I also read a lot of blogs and, um, you know, with my blog, I'm in a blogging group. So a lot of my friends and people I know um, have a lot of great information. So I'll just kind of catch up on their blog posts too. What do you wear during me time? What do I wear during me time? T-shirts, because I'm a t-shirt girl. If it's cold, I like button-up flannels, but um, t-shirts and then pajama pants. I like to tell you that I get up every day and get dressed, but I don't because, yeah, I like to be comfortable. And um, I wear yoga pants, which are real clothes, right? As long as you're, you know, wearing them at home. And leggings, sometimes. But leggings ain't pants. Leggings ain't pants, y'all. I'm just saying. No. If you want to wear leggings as pants, go for it. But I personally don't wear leggings as pants. But I wear them at home because they're super comfy. So anyway, yeah. Comfortable clothes. T-shirts and whatever comfortable pants. What are your Me Time Beauty products? Me Time Beauty products. Yeah, I don't, I don't do Me Time Beauty products. I put coconut oil on my face. We stay away from anything that has chemicals or any kind of toxins and things in it so I typically just use coconut oil to moisturize and then when I do wear makeup which is only if I'm going like going to church or whatever I put on like natural mineral type makeup that's about it what is your current favorite nail polish and current favorite nail polish is um yeah none <laughs> I don't really paint my nails the girls have non-toxic piggy paints nail polishes um and so every once in a while I'll you know paint my nails with that if I'm playing with them but pretty much I mean I'm saying once in a while like one every once a year maybe Easter. at Easter or something I don't know every once in a while but that's pretty much it um what do you eat or drink during me time what do I eat or drink during me time um I don't really eat anything during me time because yeah as sneaky as I try to be somebody hears me so my me time snack becomes everybody's me time snack and then I don't really get any but I do like a piece of fruit or something you know like apple peanut butter things like that so I will if we have some fruit around I'll probably eat fruit but mostly I would drink hot tea or some decaf coffee that'd be what I go to I drink water like I drink water 90 something percent of the time and then I have a cup of coffee in the morning and then sometimes decaf later or hot tea later and occasionally I drink a cup of raw milk when the goats are in milk again, I'll probably drink a lot more milk. What's your current favorite candle? My current favorite candle? I don't burn candles because, again, they have a lot of toxins they emit into the air. So, we don't burn candles. But I do diffuse essential oils. So, 
Um, currently, I'm doing like a protective blend because of all the ickies that have been going around. We don't want none of the flu bugs around here or anything like that. So I diffuse that to kind of help kill any kind of bacteria that would be in the air. And then also we like to diffuse citrus type scents because that's uplifting and it just um, kind of helps everybody to be in a good mood. Just do you ever have outdoor me time? Do I ever have outdoor me time? I do. Um, it's not technically me time because I'm always outside with somebody, but being outside and doing homestead chores and in the garden or just relaxing on the porch swing is kind of where I get rejuvenated a lot of times. And I like to do those things with my children and with Derek, or actually it's best when we're all here. But um, so that's, so yes, I like to spend time outside and it's, even if I'm with them, I still consider that me time because it's my happy place. Um, what is, no, would you ever go see a movie alone? Nope. I would not go see a movie alone because, hey, I don't go to movies usually because they're expensive and not much out there that I really want to watch. And um, I am very introverted. I'm 85% introverted and ISFP according to Meyer Briggs. But, um, you know, I like to go out and visit with people and do things, but I get recharged by being at home. And I found for me personally that I don't need to be alone alone to recharge. I just need to be at home resting or doing something that fulfills me like like I said in the garden or something like that so I really don't have any interest in going out and doing things by myself um I just would prefer to be with Derek and the kids what's your favorite online shop my favorite online shop um Amazon <laughs> because it's cheap and fast um that's pretty much where I shop we don't do a lot of extras right now so if I were to spend some extra and shop somewhere you know i would probably do something like uh, getting some teas from saint fiacras they have a great um blog and they have a youtube channel and they have a good tea shop online it's really cool um or maybe something from bet in the farm they have some you know homemade products there just um i like to support other families and other moms who are trying to make it you know make a living at home so that's what i would do if the budget allowed what's your favorite me time music me time music. I like uh, contemporary Christian or um, worship music. I really prefer worship music. So I like to play music like that to um, just kind of set an atmosphere of peace in the house. So I just do that. Um, my other indulgence occasionally is a little bit of 80s big hair band music. And, you know, that's kind of fun. And then old school country occasionally, Vince Gill and stuff like that. Um, but... <laughs> and Emma's laughing at me. And on a very rare occasion, I'll put the Jackson 5 on and we will all boogie down, man. <laughs> and the kids think it's hilarious, but that's a very rare occasion. So, But for the most part, I would say 98% of the time we are playing Christian and country, uh, contemporary Christian or worship music. How would you spend a kid-free day? A what? A kid-free day? A what, what? No. Um, I don't have very many of those. Um, like I said, I like to be with the kids, but... Um, and usually I'm, you know, for the last almost 15 years, I've had a nursing baby for the most part. So kid free is never really actually kid free. You know, they're either in utero or <laughs> nursing. So, um, but if I had an actual kid free day, depending on what it is, I, like I said, I didn't, don't think I would want to, um, be alone. So I would prefer like if my mom and dad babysat the kids, then Derek and I could go out and just spend a whole day alone. That would be really cool. Um, we would enjoy that. Or if Derek had the kids and then, um, I would do something probably with my mom and my sister-in-law. I don't know what, because I'm not much of a shopper, but they like to shop. So I probably would just go shop with them or something, just, you know, some girl time. And, um, the other thing, if we're going to get really indulgent and, you know, dream, I would love to go get a massage. That would be really cool. So. What else do you do during me time? What else do I do during me time? Um, not really much because I don't take a lot of me time. But if I were to be able to set aside some me time, I would probably sew. I haven't sewn much in a while. For Christmas, my mom and I made some aprons and pot holders and things for people. So that was fun. Um, but I love to make quilts and just sewing. I just really enjoy sewing and I haven't gotten to do that in almost two years really sit down and sew project other than right before Christmas this year we did a few things. So if I had to pick one thing it would be the outside of it I've already mentioned it would be sewing. 
that the last question? Yep. Okay. Well, I hope that you've gotten to know me a little better and kind of see what I'm all about. And I need to tag four people. So um, I'm going to tag Rose at Wholesome Roots, Meg at the Holler Homestead, Lindsay at Chickadee Homestead, and Jenny Pratt at the Pratt Family Homestead. I will link to all of them, and I know they may not be able to join in the collaboration because I know everybody's really busy and trying to get other videos out and things, but I'm going to go ahead and tag them, and if they want to join the collaboration, that'd be awesome. If they don't, no big deal, but whether they do or not, you should go check all their channels out because they are all great ladies, and I think you would find it enjoyable. So anyway, I guess that's it, and I kind of enjoy doing this, and I have some encouragement for moms, um, some different things that I want to talk about. So I hope you'll look forward to some of those videos coming your way. I'm going to um, just, I've had some things on my heart that I want to share with y'all, but that's it for today.